Pajaman rhino, Rhinoceros sinicus, is one of the most threatened mammals on Earth, quoted in the Society of Conservation Biology. Pajaman rhino is one of five species of rhino that is critically endangered. All five species of, species of rhino are endangered, but the Javan rhinoceros is most at risk. On the red list of endangerment, the Javan rhino is critically endangered and extinct in the wild, which means it has very low numbers and it only thrives and lives in the Yuzhang Kulan National Park. It is not seen anywhere outside of conservation areas. Today, I will be talking about why they are going extinct, why they should be saved, and how each one of us can help save the species. <clears throat> Quote, species become endangered for two main reasons, loss of habitat and loss of genetic diversity, quoted in endangered species. First, I will be talking about habitat loss. Habitat loss is due to natural occurrences and human interaction. For example, with human interaction, development of cities, or um, deforestation due to needing materials such as wood and even mines can affect um, the habitats. The second thing with naturally occurring is climate change. Although climate change is seen as a problem everywhere, for the Darwin Rhino specifically, climate change has become a big problem because due to climate change, oceans are rising and the Java rhinos live on a small island, and so the rising oceans cause the coastline to recede. So as the years go by, their land is literally shrinking. <clears throat> um, quote, there, are there were 123,500 acres of land capable of supporting them. Now there are only 15,000 acres, quoted in Levitt, page six. The third thing with their habitat is tsunamis and volcanoes. Because they live on an island out in the middle of nowhere <coughs> in Indonesia, tsunamis are a big problem. They've been, Java has been hit multiple times before. Luckily, the tsunamis were not high enough to cause much damage to the rhino species. However, many scientists fear that if a tsunami reaches a certain height, that it could potentially wipe out the entire species. And then also they, they have volcanoes in the ocean, which in turn, volcanoes are dangerous because lava, and <coughs> but it also can cause tsunamis when it erupts as well. Next, I'll talk about genetic diversity. Um, this is one of the biggest worries scientists have about this species. Um, this is when there's little difference in genetic makeup, which can be caused and lead to inbreeding. Quote, groups of species that have a tendency to inbreed usually have little genetic variation because no new genetic information is introduced to the group. Disease is much more common and much more deadly among inbred groups. For this reason, fewer offspring of inbred groups survive to maturity, quoted in endangered species. So not only are they struggling with climate change and other factors, their own genetic material is harming them. Lastly, I will talk about poaching. Um, for the driving rhinoceros, Specifically, poaching is a big problem. Uh, the, their horn is made of keratin, which really is the same base of our hairs, of our nails and hair. Um, it is probably one of the biggest reasons the Javan rhino is so critically endangered because of the properties seen from their horn. Quote, in 2010, poachers killed the nation's last wild rhino. Gwen, page four. Because of this, that's what caused them to be extinct in the wild. Next, I'm going to talk about why we should save them. First reason is the ecosystem. Java rhinos create more diverse ecosystems. They make wallows or giant mud pits that they use to keep themselves hydrated, and they just disperse seeds and they eat undergrowth. A lot of what they eat is the underbrush from low trees and everything, so they keep the forest from overgrowing and they keep the forest being biodiverse. Um, forests would be overgrown and they would lose their genetic diversity, just like the rhinos. Next, morally, it just isn't right. These rhinos are aggressively poached for a giant piece of keratin sticking out of their skull. When I think of that, 
it's, could you imagine someone killing you for your hair and nails? It's the same base material. So that just isn't right. Although we don't see this right, the Chinese government and many of, in many islands in Indonesia see their horn as it has medical properties, even though none of it has been proven. However, it can still be harvested without killing the animal. Um, quote, if you cut the horn three inches above the base, it will grow back in two years. That means there is a never ending supply. Quoted in Rhino Horrors by John Hume on page 116. Instead of poaching and killing every rhino just for a piece of their horn, this way, those who believe in their medical properties can still use the horn without killing the animal. With poaching, the costs are, they raise, quote, from $33 to $133 a gram, which at the top end is double the price of gold, can exceed the price of cocaine, who in page two. If we become, there are farms, there's, well, there's one farm that one guy has created for rhinos, not driving rhinos yet, but the Samaritan rhino, where he harvests their horn, cutting it three inches above the, above the base. Um, and it's actually cheaper in the long run because it, there's always a never ending supply. So the supply, there's more, so the demand is less. Cohn says, quote, rhinos are disappearing at a rate of 20 to 25%, end quote. Page 741. At this rate, the drought and rhinos could potentially be extinct by 2030 if we do nothing to help them. You may ask, what can I do? I don't live in Indonesia or I don't have a lot of money. Well, there are simple things that each one of us can do to help save this rhino. The most common is the adoption program. You essentially, by adopting a drought and rhino, you obviously don't get it delivered and you take care of it but you are donating money to the program, which, quote, supports monitoring programs, 24-7 anti-poaching detection research, and habitat restoration products, uh, quoted in Association of Rhinos. Um, when you adopt a rhino through this program, you can receive a digital certificate, um, a photo and a bio of your specific rhino that you adopted, and an adoption sticker. Some programs even offer a stuffed animal to come with your, your package. The second thing, if you really want to be invested, is the Javan Rhino Protection Units in Javan, Indonesia. This is if you really want to go full throttle and fly to Indonesia and protect these animals. By joining this group, you not only can walk forests, you can monitor their cameras, and you can be a researcher. It doesn't just mean you have to fight poachers. It could mean sitting in a lab and studying their biology or watching cameras and monitoring how, what they do. Today I talked about why the Java Rhino is going extinct, why we should save them, and how, and how to save it. Each one of us needs to put the effort in to save this species. It's going extinct, and it needs your help to survive. To end, I will show you pictures of baby job and rhino because I believe that it's hard to say no to these faces, especially to those who replied to my audience analysis was that these animals are too scary or that you're not an animal person. I hope that these faces change your mind. Thank you for listening.